And he said, yeah. Come on with that phone home, boy. You feel me? Oh, you got there? Yeah, because he's like, don't he ain't play take me. me shit, did he? I gave it back. I just wanted the, I just wanted the video out of there because he's like, don't play with me. Y'all yeah. be wanting to go viral, like, bro, this is real life that I live, bro. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all playing. You feel me? So y'all trying to provoke me. Y'all, our oh, clout, clout is poisonous, man. Yeah. yeah. Woody got a retarded daughter with a wooden leg that can't walk straight. She physically disabled and she a little slow, just like here. <laughs> retarded people make retarded babies. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, trust him, I be doing too much, man. For real. Too old for that. Come on with that phone home, boy. You feel me? Oh, you got that? Yeah, because he's like, don't he ain't play take me. me shit, did he? I gave it back. <laughs> I just wanted the, I just wanted the video out of there because he's like, don't play with me. Y'all yeah. be wanting to go viral, like, bro, this is real life that I live, bro. Yeah. Y'all playing. You feel me? So y'all trying to provoke me. Y'all, oh, clout, clout is poisonous, man. Yeah. Yeah, Woody got a retarded daughter with a wooden leg that can't walk straight. She's physically disabled and she a little slow, just like here. <laughs> retarded people make retarded babies. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Trust me, I be doing too much, man. Too old, bro. For real, man. Come on. Yeah, Woody got a daughter with a wooden leg with a kickstand on it and she can't walk straight. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> got a retarded daughter. He got a in case she got a wooden leg with a kickstand on it. <laughs> and he got a dead mama and a retarded daughter. My daughter graduated at 15. My daughter graduated 15 years old from high school. That boy talked too much. It's starting not to be funny anymore. She's in college right now. She's not a retard. She, that nigga daughter is mentally retarded. She's not autistic. She's retarded. <laughs> Ah, he mentally retarded. Man, that he came right. How he gonna have a, a smart baby when that's mentally retarded? Baby, it got to be dumb and stupid. He dumb and stupid. It's called genetics. It's called genes. Them genes flow down. His baby mama must be retarded too because the little girl seems severely retarded. So while he buying Hellcat, tell him get that little girl some braces and straighten up that wooden leg. <laughs> I don't give a damn about being wrong or right. I don't give a damn about being wrong or right. As long as I can get this here. I don't give a damn about being wrong or right. I just want to be rich. And I've been getting rich. <laughs> Woody ain't got no house, though. Yeah, yeah, Woody got a hundred thousand cash, but ain't got no house. And his daughter got a wooden leg with a kickstand on it. If I had a hundred thousand dollars, I'd get my baby some braces. At least she can run like forwards when she get older. Right now, she can't run like forward. She got a she got a one leg longer than the other. <laughs> ah, say, say, Woody can't buy no house. He can't even get an apartment. <laughs> With a hundred thousand dollars, he got a driving license. His car keep getting towed. <laughs> he got a driving license. With a hundred thousand dollars, baby got a bad leg. Poor fella. <laughs> baby got a bad leg. If I got a hundred thousand dollars, I'm going to get my baby leg straight. Baby, get your leg straight with this money. That ain't for about now another golf cart. <laughs> it ain't staying in the apartment. The nigga, nigga, I got four houses. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back, DJ. Man, my daughter can read. My daughter got all her sense. First thing they try to check to see when the baby is born, do the baby got all his limbs? Baby got a missing limb. I was born with two good eyes. I just lost the eye. Baby was born with a crooked leg, and she can't read well like him. Dumb like her daddy. Retarded like him. Boy, the genes is. And she a dark skin, look ugly, look girl. She ain't a pretty yellow mixed baby like mine with long hair. <laughs> I don't give a damn about being wrong. <laughs> I don't give a damn about being wrong or right. What's up, baby? Okay, this is not gonna be open till one. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Baby, you know Woody got a mentally retarded daughter. Talk that got strength like a grown man, and she an angry, violent little girl. So she can't play well with other kids because they go talk about it because her leg crooked because she can't walk straight. She wobble. She wobble when she walk, baby. A oh, wobbly, wobbly, wobble, wobble. Yeah, she a wobbly little baby. <laughs> it's baby, baby. I talk to you later. It's <laughs> two. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna make him crash out. <laughs> Here's a wobble leg, wobble leg, wobble leg, wobble leg. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it did to God. I don't know what you got to do to God to make a retarded baby, but you got to do something wrong. God just, God make it, everything is perfect under God. So if you done made a retarded baby, maybe that's his karma for hurting people. 
maybe his retarded baby with the wooden leg with the kickstand on it because she can't stand up straight. Uh, she looked like an ostrich. Maybe that's his karma. Maybe Woody karma for hurting people and killing nut is that he made a retarded baby. That I maybe 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 that's it. That's the only thing I can think about. <laughs> Charles the White man. So recently he linked up with a guy by the name of Woody. You grown, but you ran to the end there, act like a little boy. Yeah. Going, I just got out of jail. You said you did you what? Said I had to wait on you. You had to wait on me. It was a cool duo. Well, I only lasted like a week. In this day and time, people can be pretty much whatever they want to be perceived as, especially when it comes to social media. If I had to guess, 80 to 85 percent of social media influencers aren't who they actually say they are. Texas native Charleston White managed to go from a teenage gang member to a community activist, further reinventing himself after serving jail time for his juvenile transgressions. Hi, my name is Charleston White. <laughs> Uh, to give you a little history and background information about who I am, man, I'm one of the first two. That boy looked different. He was younger. Okay. I was in the Fort Worth, Tarrant County area to be a to be tried and adjudicated for the crime of murder at the age of 14. When Charleston walked away from his life of crime, he would amass a sizable social media following for his YouTube commentary on trending news. However, the internet sensation has also made headlines for his controversial remarks. Known for sharing stories of his criminal past on social media, Charleston White's online presence has earned a mixed reception from social media onlookers. Some of his biggest controversies were due to his comments regarding George Floyd. I don't care nothing about George Floyd, no grown person who make wrong choices and decisions, and then it's a consequence to their choice and decision, whether it's horrific or not, you shouldn't have made that choice. Live with it. Dead or alive, live with it, right? Uh, if they love George Floyd so much, what, what was he doing downtown broke? If they love George Floyd so much, what was he doing downtown broke, homie? We done seen the whole video, the full video. He was dope fiending too. He was dope fiending too, homie. I don't care about no dope, homie. In my world, dope fiends is beneath dead people. You treat them bad, you do them bad, they wash your car, you give them $2. That's how we do dope fiends in our community, homie. They wash your car, you give them $2. They come to the trap, they don't risk their life stealing out a family dollar, they got $100 worth of stuff, you give them $5. That's how you do the dope fiend. We don't take care of dope fiends around here, so how y'all gonna trick me to like one dope fiend, but on the other hand, the dope fiends get done bad. In real life, dope fiends are done bad. How you gonna trick me over here to say, hey, we love you, dope fiend. No, we don't. The man smoke crack. The death of DMX. You said some really um, wild um, Charleston White-like things about DMX. Yeah. We'll look at it as distasteful because of yeah. the timely manner you're doing it. Yeah. Um, he has 17 kids. Yeah. Um, and uh, although a lot of people agree with you, some people are like, yo, he has kids who are mourning right now. Why would you say that, um, about DMX and he, and, and call him the things that you're calling him with one of his kids could be watching your videos. So you think they wasn't mourning before now? You think they hadn't been mourning before his death? See, a dope fiend dies long before he dies, right? A drug addict does things to his family that when he dies, the family's not surprised. They ain't mourning. They expect death when you've been drugging and dope fiending as long as a, he's been dope fiending, right? So what I said was the truth. As well as the deaths of Nipsey Hussle and King Von, along with their grocery list of gang members, other rappers, and get this, the mothers of other rappers. She raised the boy in the ghetto, single parent mom, uh, you know, boy got put out at 14 years old. Them hood rat babies. Uh, most women who are not hood rats, uh, they children ain't getting put out at 14 years old. They're not ending out on their own at 16 years old. Most mothers are gonna go to extreme measures uh, to keep their children from being in the streets as children, teenagers. 
So I, I, I would assume she's a hood rat mama. If you don't know who Charleston White is, you have either been living under a rock or you simply haven't tuned in to social media over the past few years. With that being said, one of Charleston's most recent beefs will come by the way of the broken relationship between himself and Kenneth Copeland, aka Lil Woody. In the heat of an ongoing back and forth online beef between Charleston and Woody, Charleston was arrested for violating the conditions of his bond release stemming from a 2023 arrest. Just when the internet thought it was over for Charleston, he will be released from jail on October the 16th of 2024. In typical Charleston White fashion, he would take to the internet upon his release to address his detractors and yes, of course, Lil Woody. Feeling like he had to show and prove, Charleston would fume himself with fans as he left Navy Federal Credit Union after he had just withdrawn a bag. Yeah. Going, I just got out of jail. You said you did you what? Said I had to wait on you. You had to wait on me? However, nothing would be more hilarious than Charleston putting up on his people to flaunt his money and jewelry, continuing to talk that Charleston white talk. Bank, nigga. Yeah, yeah, this is how they treat you when you come to the bank. <laughs> nah, they, yeah, then we get the interview money later. Yeah, yeah, we got $100,000 just for going to jail. They want to talk to a nigga. And they ask me what happened. TMZ posted me, Club Shay Shay calling, uh, Bre <laughs> all that want to know. What, what you do to them animals? It doesn't thing to no animals. Yeah, yeah, let me see. We just leaving the bank with all this here, man. Yeah, yeah, we just leaving the bank with all this here. <laughs> P. Diddy, the only in jail with money that can't get out of jail. Yeah, boy, these high lawyers is like genius. And you say, these high lawyers is like genius. Oh, I heard them clapping and churn and cuckooing and ca ha <laughs> They heard the churn and thought it was gone, fella. They thought I had P. Diddy charted. I wasn't gonna never come home. Get wrong with y'all boys. Many high end lawyers is like genius. Today, I had to come home and put all my jewelry on. They had me in isolation confinement. Boy, they had nuts shriveled up. Boy, them nuts were so tight. Boy, dick had shrunk so small. Oh, uh, I can't remember the last time I had a morning hard on. Gas holes tight with that no bond over the weekend. <laughs> Boy, they made all of Toby. Toby, I'm on my man that medical card. What I mean, worry about it, Judge. Man, you ain't got to worry about me in that medical card no more. <laughs> but he said, Federal. Boy. I said, Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Judge. You ain't got to tell me twice. He said, I done told you twice. This is your second violation. It won't be no more, Judge. I promise it won't. <laughs> Say, bank money, bank money. This come out the bank. This shit come out the bank wrong shoot. <laughs> they thought I was down. Ain't now real ever been down and he still had breath in his lungs. Larry Hoover still up. Hell is wrong with you. He just been down in the hole. But still talking about it, matter. Nigga, please, I got to see Nigga, if it wasn't for the feds, I'd pull out more today. Yeah, if it wasn't for the feds, I'd pull out more today. Or I'd go to my other bank and get some more money. But they can't get 10000 is the limit for today. Yeah, I heard you whole ass and churn. I bat in your eyebrows like Betty Boo. Thought the judge, if it wasn't for FBI regulation, I'd go get more money out the bank. You whole ass nigga, when I was down and out and tried to counterplay. I think my mom I ain't even had no bomb. That lawyer went and got a bomb. High-end lawyers is like genius. You better get you a Jew lawyer, and I got a black civil rights attorney. Remember, wrong as bank money, fresh out the bank. Up. Now I'm on my way to my daughter's school. Uh, catch me somewhere in the app, cause we book. You yeah, catch me somewhere in the app. Here goes some more right here. Uh, here goes some more right. Here. Money, 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 money. Talk to him, Charlie. I hear you whole ass nigga cheering and clapping and still broke. And by the way, that nigga, why, while I was sitting in jail, whole ass bought another house, that nigga. Yeah, I bought a house close to my daughter's school while I was in jail. That nigga transferring money on you whole ass. Baby, go, you got the keys to the house, baby? Yeah, the car garage. All you talking and laughing. That nigga, I got four houses. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah, don't make me go get that great. Yeah, don't make me go get that Rolls Royce on you whole ass, whole ass. You nigga living with ain't you, nigga. Yeah, I just bought my wife a house, nigga. Baby, go get the kind of house she want. She went and found her three-car garage house. And I, get yeah, up, bitch ass. What? You in the apartment? You stand with <laughs> Your name ain't on the lease. Nigga, we talking to me. <laughs> I got three leases in my name. Bitch ass. You all ask people, me. Hell yeah. Say, who said what now? Hell yeah.
They say you want to get out of jail. Well, now P Diddy on the money can't get out of jail. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got them kind of charge that Diddy got nigga where he can get out of jail. And this bank money. I don't even know the bank give you a bag of money when you go and get enough out, nigga. Yeah, out. yeah, no, nah, and it's tricking money. Yeah, yeah, this tricking money. You niggas know nah, this what we call tricking money, so, nigga. Hey, what is that? You call him? Man, I ain't got his number to call from jail. How you gonna memorize nigga number from jail? And you can't do three way calls. He ain't he. How he gonna put money on a Tarrant County jail phone in Atlanta? Ben Ted lying, my nigga. He lied on Thug, didn't he? He lied on me. He keep lying. <laughs> Comment down below. Trust me, I be doing be doing too much, man. I think so, but hey, that was it, man. See y'all next video.